Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okay, today we will learn about the topic number two, which is uh, network architecture. So this is the second topic of the topic number two. And the uh, the objective of this lesson is uh, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain types of the network architecture consists of peer-to-peer -peer and client-server network and also you can illustrate the types of network architecture based on the given scenario okay firstly we need to know what is the network architecture network architecture is uh, referred to the design of the computers the design of the devices and also the media on the network ok nanti kita akan tengok bagaimana dia punya design kedua-dua peer-to-peer uh, -peer and uh, client server network ok dia punya reka bentuk dia and then dia punya uh, structure of the network itself ok dalam topik ni kita akan cover in this topic we will cover about the the two types of the network architecture client server network and the other one is peer to peer network dan juga kita akan cover the difference between a client server and the peer to peer and the similarities of the client server and the peer to peer Okay, now kita akan zoom in kan what is the client server network. So, kita akan spesifikkan uh, the ciri-ciri, okay, ciri-ciri client server network. Okay, uh, actually client server network is uh, the jenis komputer yang berada dalam network ini. Okay, which is uh, client and then the other side is a server. So, dia ada dua jenis komputer. Okay, client rujuk kepada Uh, semua komputer-komputer users ok, semua komputer-komputer users which is server is the special computer to serve the users ok right apakah ciri-ciri utama what is the main uh, characters of this client server network ok, on the client server seperti yang gambar rajah yang kamu lihat tu warna biru tu, gambar rajah warna biru tu so there is a ada dalam di dalam tu ada server dan di dalam tu ada client. Okay, uh, one or more computer will act as a server, and the other computers will act as a client. Which is the the main purpose of the server is to provide the services. Okay, this is the main purposes purpose of the server. Okay, kerja utama server. And then the other computers will act as a client, which is the client is request the services. Uh, request the services. Okay, kalau kamu lihat di gambar rajah tu, uh, kita boleh assignkan, dia ada beberapa device tu, dia ada satu. Okay, saya akan labelkan. Okay, this is a first device. This is the second. This is third. This is fourth and this is fifth. Okay, dah ada lima devices di dalam satu network. Ah, uh, sorry, yang tengah pun ada satu lagi. Six. Ada enam devices. Six devices. Okay, which is all devices are connected to each others through communication device. So, device number six is a communication device. Okay, seperti yang kita dah belajar, communication device, communication device uh, untuk network ni kita boleh letak dia sebagai uh, kita boleh panggil, uh, kita boleh gunakan switch. Okay, kita akan gunakan switch ataupun kita akan gunakan router. Okay, so itu dia menggunakan uh, dia gunakan switch dan juga router. Alright, so uh, untuk server, baik kita cari komputer yang ada server, mana-mana saja komputer kita boleh uh, letakkan server asalkan kita label dia sebagai server. Untuk dalam kes ni, kita akan ambil nombor satu. Bila nombor satu, kita lihat dia ada logic sikit, dia besar. 
Okay, server. Bentuk dia lebih besar daripada device-device yang lain. So, kita boleh assume dia sebagai server. So, device number one is the server. Okay. So, device number two, number three, number four, number five. We'll call it as a client. Okay. We'll call it as a client. So, di sini kita ada satu server. Dalam gambar rajah ni, kalau kamu perhati betul-betul, kita ada satu server dan uh, four clients. Okay, four clients and one communication devices. Which is communication devices will connected all uh, server and clients uh, together. Okay, so so dia menggunakan uh, wired eh. Dia menggunakan wired. Okay, kita tengok device number 2 is a computer. Device number 3 maybe a laptop. Number 4, number 5 maybe a computer juga. Dan kita boleh letak juga printer di sini. Okay, kita boleh letak juga uh, router satu lagi. Uh, wireless access point sebagai client boleh juga. And then uh, wireless access point akan sambung ke uh, computer yang lain pun boleh juga. Tak ada masalah. Okay. Baik, uh, kita tengok dia punya uh, server. Okay, server. Server, uh, ada banyak jenis server. Okay, ada banyak jenis server. So, yang pertama sekali kita boleh namakan dia sebagai dedicated server. Dedicated server. Ataupun dia lebih popular sebagai web server. Okay, and then kita ada juga print server, printer server. Ada database server. Dan ada juga uh, dedicated server, web server, printer server and database server. Ada juga uh, application server. Okay, application server. Uh, dan juga dia ada satu lagi dipanggil sebagai uh, hardware server. Okay, so this is a types of the servers. So, ada banyak servers eh. Okay, so nombor satu ni, the specifically kalau kita nak letak dedicated server pun boleh, web server pun boleh, printer server pun boleh, database server pun boleh as long as it is a, it is a server. Okay, dalam satu network, jika ada salah satu server, then network itu dipanggil sebagai uh, client server network. Okay, apakah... Uh, what is the functions of this server? So, uh, seperti yang saya sebut tadi, the function, the main functions of the server is to provide services. Right? To provide services. What type of services that server will provide? It? Okay, dia bergantung kepada jenis-jenis server. Contoh, kita ambil dedicated server ataupun web server. So, server ini hanya akan provide website sahaja. Okay, website sahaja. So, di dalam server ini ada tersimpan website. Ada tersimpan uh, website lah, website. And then, apabila ada setengah pula, uh, the other server is a printer server. Okay, apa service yang ada dalam server ini is printer services. Dia hanya provide print sahaja. Okay, semua klien akan request untuk cetak, untuk print. So, dia akan request kepada server ini. Okay, server printer. Untuk dedicated server tadi ataupun website server tadi, semua klien akan request satu website ke dalam server website ini. Okay, so setiap server mempunyai uh, role yang berbeza. The different responsibilities, okay, based on based on dia punya types of server, okay. Kemudian database server, okay, database uh, database database server is provide uh, data to the clients, provide the report to the clients, provide the provide the files, provide the report, provide the informations to the clients. So server ini hanya bagi ag, hanya akan serve data sahaja kepada client dan client apabila dia 
request the data and then they go through the server. And then client apabila dia nak uh, print the documents, then they go through the to printer server. And the client when dia nak uh, dia nak go to the website, the specific website, and then they go to this uh, website server or dedicated server. Okay, so the server fungsi dia adalah to uh, provide the services. What type of services? Website, print, database and so on. Okay, apa tugas client? Okay, tugas client is to request the services. Request the services. Contoh, uh, kamu menggunakan uh, kamu menggunakan Google Classroom. Okay, kamu menggunakan Google Classroom dan kamu nak download saya punya nota melalui Google Classroom and then this is the what one of the types of request daripada users kamu request to download the uh, nota this is requesting okay ataupun kamu nak uh, key in markah di dalam sistem masukkan dalam sistem and then request save button and then kamu save this is request ok this is request maksudnya kamu minta server itu simpan kamu punya markah di dalam database server ok itu adalah fungsi clients request inform, uh, request services for the clients and uh, provide services from the server ok what is the server? Server or host computer? Host computer, the computer that run. Okay, kita tengok nota yang ni. That run one or more server program which share their resources with clients. Okay, so what is the, what is means by terms resources? Okay, resources. Okay, resources bergantung kepada types of server. Bergantung pada types of server. Ada setengah di dalam server yang seperti, yang seperti saya sebut tadi, dia ada dedicated server, dia ada web server, print server, database server, application and hardware server. Okay, setiap server dia ada resources dia sendiri. Okay, contohnya seperti database server. Saya akan ambil contoh database server. Okay, database server. So, resources dia adalah data. Okay, data. For example, uh, data ni adalah uh, student information. Semua di dalam di dalam server ni disimpan student information. So, student information ini, the data student information will share to another clients to other clients this clients this client 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 clients ha, nampak so apabila kamu simpan uh, apabila clients okay request the student information so dia akan request kepada database server which is the data is resources the data is a resources okay begitu juga dia kalau dengan print printer server Okay, printer server, the printer as a resources. Printer lah sebagai resources. Tengok nama server itu. Okay, if if the name of the server is the printer, then the resources is the, will will be printer. Okay, so client akan request untuk print and then uh, printer server akan beri kebenaran untuk cetak. Okay, this is resources. Okay, go to clients. A client is other computers, other computers and mobile device. They will get your mobile that depend on the server for its resources. So, clients akan request uh, services daripada server, which is uh, kat situ lah dia akan bekerja. Apabila apabila client dapat resources ataupun klien dapat data ataupun klien dapat print and then kat situlah dia baru boleh bekerja. Uh, kalau selagi klien tak dapat data 
So client tak boleh buat apa-apa. Because data berada di server, not ber bukan berada di komputer client. Okay. Jadi uh, fungsi fungsi server juga adalah to share the data, to share the data. Okay. Dalam server dia ada satu storage menyimpan data. Satu storage, satu storage saja. Di dalam storage tersebut adalah student information. Banyak student information kat situ. Okay, which is that storage akan diakses oleh semua klien. Okay, akan diakses semua klien. Jadi klien akan dapat data yang sama. Data yang, datanya dari sumber yang sama. Okay, share resources. Itu dipanggil sebagai share resources. Okay, dia ada satu satu resources which is this resources uh, will share to others. Okay. Right, next. Uh, the client does not share any of its resources but request a server resources. Okay, so client tidak ada. So, saya, seperti yang saya sebutkan tadi, clients tidak ada data. Client tidak ada printer. Okay, so client tidak boleh share apa-apa kepada network. Hanya server saja yang boleh share resources dia kepada network. Then client akan access resources itu. Okay. Okay, for example, provide a centralized services such as centralized data. Itu yang saya sebut tadi, di dalam database, which is which is in the server, ada satu data, ada satu storage. Uh, which is the, the storage is uh, to store the student information client di luar sana ramai and then they akan access semua client akan access data storage tersebut ok hanya sumbernya hanya satu sumbernya hanya satu that is called centralized data dia tidak ada disimpan di, di komputer lain Klien ni akses ke komputer ini, klien ni akses ke komputer lain, klien ni akses ke komputer lain. So, itu bukan dipanggil sebagai centralized data. Okay, centralized data, dia hanya ada satu storage which is all clients will access this storage. Okay. Alright, so what is the advantage of the client server network? The first one is the efficiency to connected a huge amount of computers of or devices. Uh, this is effective. Can apply on the large size of network. Sharing the resources can improve network security. So this is the important part of the client server network. Client server networks is always concerned about security. Network security, data security and so on. Okay. All right. So this is a illustrations of the client server network. Okay, saya ulang balik. Ini sangat penting. Illustrasi ini sangat penting. Which is dalam network there is a clients. Okay, maybe two or more clients. Okay, dalam dalam kes ni kita ada empat clients. And then one server, this kind of server, maybe the database server, maybe the web server, maybe the dedicated server, or maybe the, the printer server. Tak kisahlah server apa pun, as long as there is a server in the network. And all devices, all devices will connect together through communication device. Through communication device such as switch or router okay so ni sangat penting ah and then uh, server will provide resources server will share their resources to other clients in the network then once again what is the resources resources such as a database which is server will share the data to all clients on the network a resource a server will share the data uh, to all client on the network server will share their printer to all clients on the network or server will share their websites files web document files 
to all the clients on the network. This is called resources. Okay, resources is depend on the what what kind of server that use in you know, on the network. If database and then the resources should be database. Uh, printer and then printer, uh, website and website. Okay. Okay, we're going to the the other the other side of the client server is a called peer to peer network. Okay, what is the peer to peer network? Peer to peer network is the the network that uh, the network that no no server on on the devices. Okay, as you can see at the picture. There is a no net, no server on the network. Okay, we can we can label it as a this is a computer number one. This is maybe this is a laptop number one. This is computer number two. This is computer number three. There is no clients and there is no server. Okay, there is no centralized data. There is no centralized resources. No. Okay. So, semua so devices ini, COM1, COM3, COM2, COM1, COM2, COM3, COM and laptop. Laptop. Okay, laptop 1. Okay, connected together with central devices, also called communication devices. Okay, yang ini kita boleh pakai switch. Kita boleh pakai router. Uh, and then, ataupun kita boleh pakai hub. Okay. Commercial device, such as switch, router, ataupun hub. Okay, there is no server, there is no clients. Okay. Okay, what is the main characters of this network? The each computer on the network shares its hardware and software with other computers on the network. Semua mempunyai boleh share satu sama lain. <coughs> Apa saja yang berada di resources yang berada di dalamnya, mereka boleh share sesama mereka. This is open network. Open network. Saya boleh share saya punya data, saya boleh share saya punya software dan saya boleh share saya punya hardware kepada siapa? Kepada all the all the computer on the network. For example, computer one. For example, computer one. If there is a data on the computer one, there is a data. There is a data or there is a apps. Or there is a hardware in the computer one. So, semua resources ini, this is also called resources. Okay, semua resources ini boleh di share kepada computer three, computer two, and laptop number one. And begitu juga dengan uh, computer three. If computer three has a data, have a data, so the data can share to others devices on the network so tiada kawalan di sini there is no restrictions there is no uh, rules untuk access siapa access apa who uh, everyone can access anything on the computer on the devices <coughs> okay uh, so all computers on the network share any peripheral devices attached to any computer. Okay, contoh eh. For example, if computer one is connected to printer, for example, this is a printer. Okay, so computer one access to the printer and then the laptop one, computer two and computer three boleh juga access printer yang sama. Okay, no restriction.
Okay, what is the advantage of this uh, design? Uh, this is a inexpensive network. Okay, so tidak perlu ada server, which is server sekarang ni sangat mahal. Okay, expensive network, just sambung saja PC ke PC, PC ke PC, and then siap kamu punya network. And then connect less computer normally below to 10. Okay, so dia digunakan untuk size network yang kecil. Okay, maximum 10. Ideal for very small businesses and home users. Biasanya di rumah kita akan pakai yang ini. Okay. Example, connecting to smartphone using Bluetooth. Ha, paling kecil sekali, peer-to-peer -peer system yang biasa kita buat adalah connecting smartphones using Bluetooth. Okay, two smartphone connected together using Bluetooth. Which is smartphone one, transfer the files. And smartphone number two will receive the files. Okay. That is a peer-to-peer -peer peer -peer network. Okay, what is the difference between uh, these two networks? Okay, client server provide centralized server. Okay, centralized, uh, centralized resources. Okay, centralized resources to store the data. Ataupun kita boleh, uh, kita boleh kata centralized data. Okay, to access all the uh, to as to access to uh, for the all clients and then uh, peer to peer each computer has its own data so berbeza beza eh, data dia even tajuk data tu sama okay student information tapi setiap satu computer dia ada storage dia sendiri dia ada database dia sendiri maybe the computer satu updated maybe computer dua tidak non not updated okay uh, so dia ada konflik kat situ so which data is data yang updated data yang betul uh, itu adalah kelemahan P2P ok disadvantage of P2P the server respond the services which is request by clients so server can manage client actually server can manage client server boleh uh, dia boleh uh, do restrictions on the data contohnya maybe di peringkat uh, di peringkat level users di bawah ok level users di bawah hanya data yang tertentu saja dia boleh access tapi untuk level users yang lebih tinggi ok level user yang lebih tinggi maybe dia boleh access the whole data ok tidak seperti P2P which is Kamu boleh tengok semua saja, semua semua apa yang ada di dalam komputer, semua data kamu boleh akses, no restriction. Okay, <coughs> okay, client server mahal, agak costly, uh, tapi P2P is murah in terms of the technology. Okay, because uh, client server need the server to manage the network. And then uh, client server used for small and large network tapi P2P is used for small network okay there is a difference between client server and uh, P2P now we're going to the similarities of both uh, client server and uh, P2P what is the similarities between them Okay, both peer-to-peer -peer and client server network connect computers so that resources like data and application can be shared. Yes, once they are network, then all the data, all the hardware, all the software can be shared. Okay, once there is a client on the network. Okay, tapi uh, cara dia share between client server dan juga P2P is different. Okay, both both network, network architecture can uh, share the their resources ok peer-to-peer -peer network connect computer so that each computer share all resources each computer can share all resources ok one computer connect to the other computers so mereka boleh communicate and mereka, mereka boleh share resources without restriction Okay, but in client server, 
one one uh, atau uh, one or more central computers which is called server hold the data and manage the resources okay so satu uh, server will provide resources and the other computer will request that services we request that resources so dia lebih kepada so uh, dia lebih kepada manageable benda ini okay so there is a similarities of the network architecture okay so habis topik kita 2.2 thank you